This is Simulation Center of Penza State University. It was organized in 2014 for training students of 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th years of study. Let's go inside. The Simulation Center takes special place in the structure of the Medical Institute of Penza. On the area of 330 square meters, there have been organized two lecture halls and 12 simulation classes, equipped with dummies, mannequins and simulators for various purposes. Medical science, as any other science, shifts towards robotization and the opportunity to train skills on simulators and dummies. It is an absolutely new way of training doctors. As of today, students from the third to the sixth years of studying interns and clinical residents undergo training in the center. It is also the place where future doctors pass the final attestation. If green boxes are not appears, the depth is not enough, it is less than 5 cm. There are many directions of training, such as emergency aid, basic cardiopulmonary resuscitation, nursing skills, patient care, general medical and specialized skills, certain types of high-tech medical aid, and team cooperation. This mannequin uses for immobilization of the broken extremities. Here we attend our uh, internal disease classes in this department. Uh, here we studied the on the objects, on practical objects of uh, monuments. Here we studied for uh, any kind of wounds, healing, about ECG analysis, all these kind of uh, purposes or diseases, internal diseases which for human, we, we studied here in uh, this stimulation center. In the traumatology and surgery classroom, you can see mannequins for basic surgical manipulations training. Mannequins imitate open pneumothorax, bone fractures, soft tissue traumas of head and neck, craniocerebral trauma and other injuries. Students perfect their skills in applying bandages, immobilizing limbs, applying tourniquets, central vein puncture and intubation of trachea. In a penza, in a, so practically is a good, in a, in a, is a body is a real, is a, to practice on the body. The anesthesiology and resuscitation classroom is equipped with simulators to train skills in basic cardiopulmonary resuscitation, mouth-to-mouth, mouth-to-nose, artificial ventilation using a laryngeal mask, the combi tube, and external cardiac massage. There is an opportunity to stimulate different heart rates and to perform defibrillation. Okay, boys, your task here is to resuscitate a patient in clinical death. This type will be ventricular fibrillation. The center has an obstetric simulation classroom. An OL multifunctional delivery simulator is a mannequin of a woman in labor and a newborn. The system can simulate a normal delivery course and various complications, such as tachycardia, pressure drop, convulsions, cord prolapse, postpartum hemorrhage, fetal and newborn hypoxia. Find second intercostal space. This one is first one, under the clavicle. This one is second one. One of the most popular is the internal diseases simulation classroom, equipped with a patient simulator imitating human sounds. The mannequin helps train a wide range of skills, from heart, lungs and intestinal auscultation, pulps palpation on carotid and radial arteries, intravenous injections to pleural cavity drainage, intubation of trachea, defibrillation and external cardiac pacing. Program scenarios give an opportunity to train the tactics of team interaction in different clinical situations. our work. At our disposal is more than 30 mannequins which allow us for comprehensive training of all practical skills before the contact with real patients. And I think that practical skills accurate in our simulation center are very essential because they can save someone's life.